Hi, good evening. I'm Dr. Philip McMillan. Thank you for joining me. And today I'm talking about autopsies and why they are so important, especially at this stage of the pandemic. I must admit, I was extremely surprised when Matthew Perry, who has recently died in October 2023, he was another unexpected death. And there was a lot of speculation about the cause of his death because there are so many people who seem to be dying quickly or who are prominent. And so it's raising questions about what is the mechanism. And even I questioned at the time, because I was concerned about myocarditis, could it have been that that was the cause? Well, it's important then for us to do a thorough scientific objective review of it. And I can tell you it isn't that. It's nothing to do with myocarditis. Uh, it's more to do with a specific medication um, that was probably taken in high doses. And I analyze it. If you're interested in seeing the analysis of it, you can take a look here. I've just put this up on my Substack, And uh, so you can listen to the fund analysis of it. And what I've been going through on it is just focusing on the characteristics about the autopsy. And um, just breaking it up into critical pieces. So this was the full autopsy report that was published on, well, it was done on the 29th of October, 2023. And as I said, this was surprising that they did that. I, I went through as well the background in terms of looking at the specific events that were occurring at the time. And they, these are these are all critical inf bits of information that help us to understand the full situation around what happened. But that's not really why I think this is important. As I said, I'm not sure why they published it. I think that they wanted to try and handle what they perceived was misinformation. Um, whatever it was they have given us an extremely valuable document. And it demonstrates that this can be done. And when you're looking at autopsies, you're looking at, I go through this as well in the Substack, is that this is an example of what they'd be looking at. They'd be looking at the brain, uh, the cut section, they do a Y-shaped cut down um, to here to open up, getting to the lungs, to the heart, liver, um, uh, the, the intestines, the gallbladder, the pancreas, the spleen. So it's a full comprehensive internal um, review of the body. And critically, they take microscopic sections. That's what we call histology. The reason I'm so excited about this is because when it comes to my biggest concern around autoimmunity, that's where the body starts attacking itself. You will not know this until somebody either has severe disease, at which point, you know, it's, it's a bit late, or if you start looking at autopsies and incidentally find patterns that are very important. That's why I am so interested, because even in this case, when I think about the autopsy that was done for him, I was looking straight away, heading for the lungs to see whether or not there were any patterns that were in existence. And in reality, we just found a lot of emphysema and, um, and smoking relating damage. But it just highlights the critical bit of science that cannot be found any other way. This is the point that I'm making. There is no other way to be able to analyze this. You, you can't work out, and this is part of the reason why I think the pandemic has been so poorly understood, because we haven't been doing enough of these autopsies. So uh, if you are interested, as I said, you can take a look at the substack. And um, and you can take a look at what is what is being said here. There's a video there which is explaining um, some of what I've been talking about. I'll look at the organs that are there. And most critically, I'll be taking a look at the full uh, autopsy report. And as I said, just for you to have a context, this is what it looks like. They literally go through every angle, external examination, uh, mechanisms of any injuries, looking at all the organs grossly, 
They look at the respiratory system here. This is a remarkably valuable document. And as I said, you can see critically down to the histological sections. And then they give you the summary as to why they thought the cause of death was there. And they break it all down, external examination. This is so, so valuable. And we really appreciate um, the family for releasing this. This is, as I said, you can't underestimate just how important this is. And for those people, and this now gives me the idea that I am happy to talk about these autopsies in more detail. I'll tend not to do it um, publicly for those people who are really, really interested and you have autopsy reports, I'm happy to take a look at them and anonymously with confidentiality, share my thoughts about it from a clinical perspective. If you are, just send an email to that link and um, I'd be in contact and show you how to take out the relevant details so that somebody can just very objectively look at a case and then start to look for patterns. As I said, in terms of understanding where we go in the pandemic, it is because we didn't do enough autopsies, especially at the beginning of the pandemic, when it came to what I call mild or asymptomatic disease. If somebody died, we should have been studying what was happening in the lungs and the, the, um, the intestines and the heart. We would have had a much better understanding as to what was going on in the pandemic. Let's not make the same mistake again. And let's make sure we take the opportunity to study as many autopsies as can be done. We need thousands of them to be able to understand the patterns that are likely to occur at this next phase of the pandemic. Have a great evening.